Hi my loves, so this is it. This is the final reading before I go on maternity leave. So I am going on maternity leave next Sunday. My last working day is Saturday. If you want a voice note reading before then, let me know. Find me on Instagram, Mr. Love Tarot, little blue tick, £10 a question, same day return, okay? You only have up until that time frame and then I'm off to give birth to create life which is petrifying again <laughs> I'm off to do that you'll have all the updates on there and um, I've recorded a bunch of maternity video readings that I'm going to put out every week so don't feel that you're going to be in the dark with that but for updates on me the baby everything like that I'll try and put them at the start of the videos and if I don't they will be on Instagram so head over that way um, and find me and stay up to date over the next I don't know if I'm going to have nine months off, to be fair. The government says I should. Yeah, they're like, you are entitled to nine months off, but I don't know if I can leave you guys for nine months again like I did last time. But I'm going to work it all out. We're just going to wing it. Let's get the baby out first and see how I end up. So, their hidden thoughts about you. Shadow energy today. Deck number one. Deck number two. Uh, this is Andrea Aste's deck. Um, and it's the Book of Shadows, I want to say. And this one here is the Dreaming Way Tarot. Okay, and we're just going to get cracking with deck number one. So it works on the mutual energy between you all. So I'm just going to go into the person you're asking about, askings, asking about energy, which is going through your energy to their energy. How I, how I read is I create those links. I don't know about other readers, but for me, when we're doing stuff on specific people, I create that energy link. So obviously take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and don't sweat the small stuff. Because it is your collective. Right. What are their hidden thoughts about those watching? Oh, brilliant. Three of Swords. Starting off with the Three of Swords. I love the colours of this deck. Ten of Cups. What are they? Oh, goodness, we're everywhere. Page of Pants. Let's just get one more. Four of Pentacles. Okay, so as I'm going into this energy and we're looking at the hidden thoughts, the song that is coming up that Spirit are giving me is Say Something, I'm Giving Up On You. And I actually kind of feel that that is a mirror energy that's working between you guys. So it's possible that you're not in contact at the moment, or if you are in contact, it's quite painful and heartbreaking. Everything's gone quite sad. Um, and you're trying to work out if there's a way that this situation can resolve. So right off the bat, your person's thoughts about you are feeling heartbroken. They're feeling sad. And um, they probably haven't expressed that to you because remember, we're looking at the hidden thoughts. We've got the communication all the way around. It's like they want to communicate these feelings towards you. But every time they do it, it's like a stuttering block. Like they're trying to get the words out and then they back out of it and just go quiet because they can't fathom or speak about what's really going on inside of their mind. It's, it's a heavy, heavy energy in their thought processes and they're feeling a bit lost. So all roads are kind of led to this destination. Whichever pathway you guys have trod, even if you tried a different pathway, you would have still ended up here. Now, the reason why, because I want to know why, why would they have ended up there? Because to achieve your goals, we often have to go through the hardships. You know, love isn't always meant to be easy. Not always. Okay, so the Empress and the Star major arcanas okay love isn't always meant to be easy but what you do have is growth so we have a lot of growth coming up from the situation so you kind of go through this heartbreak to grow and i know that sounds really really shitty and you know when people used to say to me uh, when i was going through my shit a few years or more than a few years back now um they'd say to me lessons what lessons can you learn i was like there's no lessons in this there's no lessons in this but when I look back now, what I do know about that situation, it was very much about finding myself and finding myself as who I was as a woman. And if I hadn't trod those specific pathways, I wouldn't be who I am today or where I am today. So even in these times of hardship, you are both growing as people. 
whether you end up together or not, the hidden thoughts and feelings, you know, you're going through this heartbreak and it's really hard stuff and I get it's hard hitting and I get it's very deeply emotional. But you won't be the same person that walked into the storm as the person that comes out of it. And that's growth. And that's why it's kind of, not why it's happening, but if there's kind of like a, I want to say silver lining, but maybe like a copper lining, that, that's what it is. Your person has very strong feelings for you with the Ten of Cups. You also have horses on this to signify movement. So if you're not in contact, fear not, it will come. It's really important that you listen to your intuition with this as well, with the rainbow bridge over the top connecting our world to the spirit realms listen to yourself listen to your inner judgments if your inner judgment is saying he or she loves you then they do okay it's just that life is hard life is shitty and, and really shitty things happen and you're both going through that heartbreak at the moment but there is a very strong love here and that hasn't changed so even if it is hard do you know that they still have those very strong feelings for you coming up very strong emotions trust your intuition on it Page of Pence, we're going to message you. They are going to reach out to you. They are going to communicate with you. And they're going to say, yo, how's it going? They're probably not going to express these feelings of heartbreak. Okay, and we know that messages are coming through because we've got the ten of, we've got this movement card over here, ten of cups. It's all about love, but there's movement in this one. They are going to message you. They're going to reach out to you. They might even have like a much more stable mindset when they do reach out to you and say, well, you know what? Um, I can see with your cards over here, I can see that there's really good potential with this situation, with you. I do love you. I have strong feelings for you. Let's make it work. And again, through loss, we can gain. So it's possible that they will realise what it is that they've lost and want to reach out to you. At the moment, it's very much this heartache. I do feel they want to speak to you, though. So hidden thoughts, heartbreak, wanting to speak to you, feeling lost, feeling lonely, feeling sad. And with the four of pants over here, they're clinging on to the situation still as well. They are thinking about it, you know, they haven't moved forward. If you're like, oh my God, they moved on, or look at them having a great time on socials. Like, no, nah, no, nah, mate, nah, they aren't. They are just saving face, putting on a mask, doing everything is wonderful and great in their world, but it's actually a bit shitty at the moment because they are really having this heartbreak too. So don't feel that they've moved on or forgotten about you or anything like that. They are still very much in your energy and there are still very strong feelings here for you. So they're hidden thoughts for you. When we're looking at that, they're secret thoughts. Their hidden thoughts is that they want to speak to you um, and that they're going through this heartbreak at this moment in time. Step number one. They'll be back. In the words of Arnie, they'll be back. Okay, guys, so I'm just going to shift over now to deck number two. Now, if you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on, um, we are doing their secret thoughts for you today. But this is the last reading before maternity leave starts. Just want you guys to be prepped. Go head over to Instagram, Mystic Love Tarot, little blue tick for all the deets. Cards of the day will still come out and um, video readings I will still put out each week for you. Because I've recorded them all in advance, 20 weeks worth. <laughs> yeah, I was like... <sighs> Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Um, spaces for voice note readings on Instagram until Saturday 3rd is my last working day. So if you want your voice notes, then that's when you've got to get them in by. Right. I'm going to give birth next week. That's all petrifying as well, is it? You know, I'm having a cesarean, by the way, guys. And if, if you're like, well, how did you know she's going to go well? Also, I'm psychic, but... <laughs> But no, that they've, they've put her date down specifically for next week. So unless they change it, which I don't think they will, and we're sticking with that date. So what are their hidden thoughts about deck number two? Six of pence. Your person is a creature of circumstance and habit. Seven of pence. Seven of Wands. I was kind of expecting it to be the Eight of Pence then. Six of Pence, Seven of Pence. We've got Seven of Wands. So is that. What are their hidden thoughts about you? Knight of Wands. Okay. So we've got a little bit of not much happening here, really. 
a little bit of here, a little bit there. And that's probably how you feel about your piercing, that they've given you a little bit, but taken it a bit away. You might feel like you're just kind of stuck in this time warp and you're not really sure what's going on. You're like, what is happening? You are not giving me any grounding or stability or security or anything of much at all, really. But equally, at the same time, they'll give you like these little seeds and say, well, having a conversation, a little bit of a seed is dropped. And then you're like, oh, OK. Do they like me? Don't they like me? What's going on? Reason why all of this is happening is the Six of Pentacles. Now, for those of you that read tarot, you'll be like, what? Because that's all about balance, if we go by the karmic. Six of Pentacles is always my third party card. Always. So what that means is that there is an influence of something or someone else. So if you're talking about someone else, it could be they are with someone. It could be interfering mothers. It could be your mother-in-law. It could be fathers. It could be friends. Um, it could be substances. It could be escapism behaviour from alcohol and drug, um, alcohol, drugs, escapism behaviour, just playing game station for hours. You've got an influence of something else. And this happens because your person is escaping this situation. They are in this escapism behaviour at this moment. Now, they try to keep balanced on it six of pence they try to keep balanced on it but it doesn't necessarily work because when they try and put one load of pennies in one box like your box and say oh yeah i want to spend time and energy with you they feel like they have to counteract it and they have to balance it in a different and a new direction because it is that escapism behavior so they your people are a victim of circumstance at the moment and that's what their hidden thoughts are. They're like, oh, well, if this situation changed or if I did this differently, then it could work out between us. But at the moment, I'm not ready to do that. And this is where the seven of pentacles comes in. So they are working through their thought processes on it at the moment. They're so seized for what they want to do with their life. They're, they're in this indecision of where their life is going, what pathway they're treading next. They might be thinking like big things, like I want a new career or I want to go traveling or I want to buy a house or I want to start a family. You've got big things going on in your person's mind. And again, this is kind of where the escapism comes in. They can sometimes feel overwhelmed by all of this, by this thought process. They feel overwhelmed by it. So they're sowing seeds for the next chapters of their life and where they are going next. I'm watching to see what happens. So this is why when at the start I was like, oh, it's a bit here and it's a bit there. That stagnation is because of this. Okay. There's a sense of, and again, it's a collective reading. So it's a, a sweeping statement here, but there's a sense of immaturity that can come with this as well. And the reason why that happens is because we have the Knight of Wands coming in. So this is your person not committing to you. They have desire for you, they have a sexual energy for you, they have a strong chemistry, but they're just sitting on the fence when it comes to commitment. And again, the reason why is because there's probably an influence of something or someone else, but they're also working out what it is they want to do with their future. And they don't want to get you involved in a serious relationship with them if it's not going to work out because they're like, I'm going to go travelling for a year. So that is where their energy is at. Now, the last card over here, Seven of Wands, We've got them defending themselves and defending their beliefs. So they might feel like sometimes, and again, coming back to overwhelm and escapism behaviour, you might feel that sometimes you're attacking them, that you're trying to say, well, this is how I want it to go. I'm trying to force them into a pathway that perhaps they're not quite ready to take. And they become defensive. And that's when they go all shitty on you and ghosty and quiet. And again, that's where that level of immaturity comes in. So rather than standing there and speaking kind of like grown adults, they're like, well, you know what, you're pissing me off. I'm just going to avoid you for a little while. And that immaturity comes through. But they keep bouncing back to you because of the sexual desire and the strong connection between you both. Um, so when we're looking at their hidden thoughts over it all, we've got this, I'm not going to commit to you at the moment because I'm working out what I want to do with my life. I feel quite... Um, irritated when I feel like you're trying to push me in a certain direction in a certain pathway because I'm trying to work it all out and there's other things going on in my world rather than just you and that could be like again the third party careers escapisms other people that is where your person's energy is and their hidden thoughts so they've got this little bit of irritation that comes from all of it and this feeling of being overwhelmed so what I'm going to do rather than just leaving it in the lurch is I'm just going to ask for some advice for you guys um any advice for deck number two how to handle this 
ten of swords. Okay, so sometimes people don't know what they've got until it's gone. So, what the cards are saying, and you've got the hermit. What the cards are saying over here with the hermit, ten of swords. Let's get one more. Queen of Cups. These are saying, go quiet. Let them think that they've lost you, and they'll bounce back because they have feelings for you. So your best bet with this situation is to kind of play them at their own game. You know, if they are really intense with you, you can be really intense back. If they're really quiet with you, be really quiet back. Let them take the lead on where the energy flows and your emotions go, okay? So put yourself in the power, put yourself in control of it all and kind of let them lead the way whilst you are taking control of it. So you're more in control than what you think you are, but they aren't aware of it. OK, so mirror them, mirror their energy back. And that will be the best way for things to move forward. With the Ten of Swords, like I said, Hermit Ten of Swords reflecting or making them think that they've lost you. And the Queen of Cups coming in at the end for those emotions and feelings, because there are feelings there. Um, it can kind of come back round. So again, that is your collective advice. Now, if you want to look at your individual advice, let me know. Drop me a message. I'm here till Saturday, next Saturday, the third, last working day. Can't drum it into you guys enough. And then I will let you know when the baby lands. And I am a little bit more recovered. And uh, as always, I get a bit emotional now, but as always, I just want to thank you all for sticking by me since, I don't know, you know when I started the channel anymore, it's all a blur. When we started the channel to where we are now and how my life just transitioned magically, beautifully and wonderfully, you know. Um, when I first started the channel, I'd just moved into my own place. I'd just got divorced. Um, and then I had a good few years being single, which was fun. <laughs> and then I met my husband, new well, new husband. We're not we're not technically married, but we are, we are together, and we've been together so long now, like five years now, I think. So it shows how long I've had the channel. Um, and uh, having had a baby, you know, baby hunter, and now we're having a a little girl. So it's been a it's been a wild ride, um, and every step of the way for even last maternity leaves you guys stood by me and you held my hand in, in kind of quite scary times because you don't know what you're doing do you you got a clue people say oh how are you finding it I'm, like, I'm winging it i'm winging it i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> but i know that it's um it's it's so worth it isn't it but without you guys support as well and your help and you know just your love and me not having to stress about readings it's been it's been you've made the transition so much easier from made into mother first time around and i'm sure made into mother second time around too and then i'll keep you posted on how how i'm getting on with a crazy sagittarius two-year-old and a newborn leo and on that note i am a gemini as you guys know my husband is a Leo, my daughter will be a Leo, and my son will be a Sagittarius. So it's like the fire house. The house is on fire. <laughs> um, that's it, guys. That's it from me. I love you all so, so much. I will speak to you soon. And if you do need me, obviously, you can message me on Instagram or email. It will just take me a little while to respond, okay? I'm definitely going to have a good couple of months off to heal before I start doing my occasional days. So just stay in the loop. Don't miss them because spaces are super, super limited. And I've already had some of you guys book in for when I get back, when I start doing my days. Some of you guys have already said, oh, book me in, save me a spot. So super, super limited places. Um, if you need me and you want to do that as well, just drop me a message. Find me on Instagram. You know me. I'm pretty approachable. Don't be scared to drop me a message. Um, and that's it. I'll show you the bump one last time before I go. Oh, she says, this is still a small baby. You wouldn't believe it, would you? There she is. She's ready to go. And I'll see you guys soon. I love you all so much. Ciao.